North Carolina vinyl picker back on a Monday night. What am I doing here Monday night? Well, the Grammys were last night, and a lot of us old proggers, I don't think we really watched the Grammys. So here's my top five progressive rock acts that won Grammys. Well, it's going to be four and then a superstar. We'll, we'll get to it in just a second. So uh, the first one is 1984. Yes, 90125. This album was big. It was huge in 84. And it was the return of John Anderson to Yes. And it was the, uh, they got the Grammy for Best Instrumental Performance. And that was um, on side two, first song. And that, of course, is Cinema. And that's, I heard, was going to be the name of the band. But they ended up doing it, yes, when uh, when Anderson decided to join. And uh, the rest is history. Second time a Grammy for a prog band. But these are my top four. There may be some that I missed. And there's some, there could be some that uh, could be added on to this list. But we'll go with these four for now. And then one superstar. Genesis Land of Confusion. That won in 87 for a best music video. And uh, yeah, so this is the album right here. Came off of this album, Land of Confusion, came off of Invisible Touch. Another huge album, sold millions of copies, just like 90125. And back in 87, whoo, that was a long time ago. And the next year, Jethro Tull won Crest of a Nave. Chris of Ave won for Best Hard Rock Metal Performance over Metallica. And that was a huge uprising from Metallica fans. And uh, But Tull won that year for Crest of Ave, His only time he ever won. And what do these four acts have all in common? They only won one Grammy the whole time. Look at this act right here. Pink Floyd, Division Bell. They won a Grammy. 1994 Marooned. Best Rock Instrumental Performance is on this album. This is a tour I saw with my nephew in Tampa. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So these four bands, monumental prog bands, Floyd, Tull, Genesis. Yes, all won, just one Grammy each. All their music they put out. Hard to believe. Okay, so now we'll talk about the uh, Mr. Hitmaker. He ruled the 80s. Had to be Phil Collins. Started off with Ark, and then it um, morphed into, uh, he played with Genesis. He was on Steve Hackett's albums. He was on, he was all over the place. You know, he played with Philip Bailey. He was on TV. He was on Miami Vice. He was in movies, Buster. He was... He, he, from the 80s, he was all over the place. It's no wonder he left Genesis at the end of the 80s. He had plenty of money. So, what did he win? Well, Phil Collins won eight Grammys. He was nominated 18 times that he didn't win. Best pop vocal performance for a male. Yep. Against all odds. I got it right here. I got the 45 and the 12 inch album from the, and this here has got a song on here from all four. It got a song on here from Gabriel. There's a Mike Rutherford song on here and there's a Peter Gabriel song on here. So if you don't have this, you need this. And here's the 45 that won him the Grammy, his first Grammy. And then we have Album of the Year for No Jacket Required. Oh, my gosh. This album was huge. Another huge album. Sold millions of copies. And uh, Best Pop Vocal by a Performance for a Male and Album of the Year. This won two Grammys. One for Phil and one for the album. Just huge. You can imagine how huge that was. Now, how many times have I said huge? Okay. Uh, the next one. See, I had to write all these down because it's a lot to remember. The next one was for Phil Collins and Hugh Padgham for Producer of the Year for Non-Classical. Now, I don't have an album to show you for that. Next one is the Prince's Truck. Prince's Truck. The Prince Trust, Trust Music Vinyl or Video. And that one, the video won for um, Best Video of the Year. 
I don't have that one to show you, but I'd like to get it. It's a compilation. Two Hearts, Best Songs. Written for a motion picture right here. There's Two Hearts. This one here, one for the his movie Buster that he uh, starred in. And then Record of the Year, Another Day in Paradise. I have only the sleeve. I don't have the, there's no album in here. Got Record of the Year. I don't have a year on that. What was this? Uh, 1989. And then the final, eight Grammys. Can you imagine eight Grammys? I'm sure there's more people with a lot more. Like your Beyonce's and uh, all those kind of people. Those, you know, those big mega stars. Um, Tarzan. He won for a soundtrack, for best soundtrack. So there you go. Five prog bands that won Grammys. So hope you're having a good night out there tonight. I had to read a lot of that, so... I'm glad you stayed with me to the end. Take care, and we'll be seeing you. Uh, we'll be seeing you Wednesday. I got a big show coming up, midweek show. See you Wednesday. Support them troops.